Scarborough have until the end of May to pull out of administration or else be automatically relegated from the conference. Their off-field activities may be academic, as defeat at Broadhall Way cements them at the foot of the table with relegation a virtual certainty. Stevenage showed the gulf between them and Scarborough. They comfortably secured their 14th home win of the season. And it started so well for the home side too. Inside the first 90 seconds, a Bullman cross, Goodliffe's header was just tipped over by the keeper. Inside 10 minutes, Stevenage had taken the lead. It really was naive defending by Scarborough, who looked to have cleared the ball. Instead, they just gifted it to Adam Miller. A 25-yard shot from him, the keeper possibly unsighted. Stevenage won, Scarborough nil. Borough doubled their lead on 21 minutes. George Boyd with his 12th goal of the season. And what a goal. The ball into him by Danny Bullman. And once it was at his feet, you knew exactly what he was going to do. Top corner, 2-0 Stevenage. Having held a 2-0 advantage earlier in the season but thrown it away, Graham Wesley urged his team to go forward looking for a third. A Luke Oliver header picked out Dino Marmria who turned well but couldn't find the back of the net. Marmria was to come closer though on 37 minutes. After Baker had brought down Nurse, a George Boyd free kick, Marmria with a header inside the six-yard box, a good claim by Dumbavin. A lack of concentration nearly cost Stevenage Borough dearly at the back. Their defence lost out and as the ball was played in, Jason Blunt had a shot from very close range. A good save by Alan Julian. The home side seemed to go off the boil and lose concentration as we headed towards half time. Indeed, in the final minute of this first half, Chris Hughes finding himself in space to get this shot away. Two nil down at half time, it was hardly the house of horrors for Scarborough, but there was little amusement for them as we came back in the second half. On 61 minutes, a Marmaria corner, Luke Oliver with this chance. Burrow playing some neat passing football, but on 72 minutes, the finish in the final third didn't really merit it. Oli Berkes having far more time than he suspected, his effort high, wide and handsome. The home side seemed happy to sit back on their two goal advantage and just run down the clock. As we headed into the last couple of minutes of this game, Scarborough, who offered very little attacking threat, had a couple of chances in front of goal. First one by Neil Redfern, a second one by David McNiven. But it was the people on the merry-go-round, rather than the back of the Stevenage net, that seemed threatened. Even an indirect free kick inside the opposition's penalty area couldn't gift Scarborough a goal. Denny Ingram's shot was somehow kept out by a combination of defenders and Alan Julian. At the final whistle then, Stevenage Borough 2, Scarborough 0, Scarborough in a perilous position. <laughs>